going to be a few of you that which I want to teach you how to see visions in prayer. So many people have been contacting me and many have been asking, how can I see visions? How can I see visions? Yes, this is the message for you. And you, after this message, you'll be in position to see visions well as you're praying and to relate to them. For it is one thing to see vision and another thing to interpret them. So this is the message that which I want you to understand. I want you to be part of it. And in the process, within it, I will give you prophecy. Uh, this is concerning Zimbabwe. This is concerning also the, 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 the citizen coalition for change. You, you will know more. But first, let's get into this thing. And my message for today, seeing visions in prayer. Seeing visions in prayer. Go with me to the book of Acts chapter 2 and verse 17. There you will find my message for today. For the Bible says it this way that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and daughters shall prophesy. And your young men shall see visions. So, this message which I'm going to share with you is very important because it's not that you're going to be sleeping and you'll be seeing visions, but you'll be awake. You'll be walking on the road, then you'll begin to see visions. You will be praying, then you'll begin to see visions. But today, I want to, a couple of you, to learn the art, to learn how to see visions, and this message, seeing visions in prayer. You see, God loves to see, and God loves to see you elevate to another level, go to another level, conquer dimensions. But most important that God loves to show you visions, wants us to see these things. For it is written, desire most the spirit of prophecy. The spirit of prophecy is the spirit that sees visions. So when we pray, if you are going to be having this kind of grace, have this extraordinary result in your life when you pray, it is important that, 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 that you learn to catch the art of seeing visions well as you pray. So, child of God, the Spirit of God brings you and brings unto you these visions. For when I pray, when I pray, I see visions. I relate with them. I am lifted above this world. I receive ideas from God. I get direction for life from God. Guidance. This is prophetic. How did I come about prophesying about nations and people? It is through the art or the realm of visions, praying as a basis. And I want you to go with me and flow with me well. That you get this art today. That you understand it today. That some people don't see visions when they pray. To be a vision bearer, or rather, or rather, or, or rather, to, to, to be a vision carrier, you need to know a few basics. But some people don't see visions at all, they are visionless. Visionless. To be visionless is to be stagnated. To be that is mean to be in one place, constant. But one sound idea from God can transform your life forever, child of God. Wherever you are, knowing that this I've received 
or one sound of received from the Lord, this idea, it changes your life forever. The day I received the revelation, the day I received the sound word of the prophetic, this spirit, this grace from the Lord, it changed everything. It changed everything. Now we are shaping nations because of the sound word, because the sound visions that come from the Lord. Child of God, this happens as you shut out the world and fellowship with the Holy Spirit. So it is very important for you to fellowship with the Holy Spirit. And how do you fellowship with the Holy Spirit? So for you to fellowship with the Holy Spirit, you have to be in a position or in a place of prayer. In a place of prayer, this is where we fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Then he begins to show us the future. He begins to show us things that are going to happen in our lives. You're going to, for that job interview, you fellowship, fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Then he will show you, he will guide you. Or you want to change something in that company, fellowship with the Holy Spirit and he will change it all for you. Key, key word is this fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Write that down and make it flow in your life. Fellowshipping with the Holy Spirit. Because as I was fellowshipping with the Holy Spirit, can I move? Well, as I was fellowshipping with the Holy Spirit, I began to see, and then I heard the word of the Lord come unto me. For the Holy Spirit ministered unto me and said it this way. That it's going to be in 2026 that the fall will begin to flow. For many have been asking when will the fall of the government begin in the nation of Zimbabwe. Then the Lord spake unto me this thing that if this, if for if the people in the CCC are listening, then this will be the time frame for them to begin to path, to pow, to path in, to move in, to create a way, a channel begin. Now to a pressure group to begin to arise. I'm talking about the Citizen Coalition for Change in the nation of Zimbabwe. These are the results we receive when we fellowship from the Holy Spirit. We begin to hear. We begin to see. And then we give it unto you. For it is prophecy. It is something for the future. But for unto the Lord is past tense. Are you following? Are you following? This is the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. So I encourage everybody as you're watching right now. Subscribe to this channel right this minute. Click subscription and search for Mwak Ministries Uganda. The name is already on your screen, the spelling, and subscribe on the channel there. A lot of prophecies are coming, fellowshipping with the Lord, because it is very important, it's key important. I'll be teaching you how to prophesy. I'll be teaching you how to see visions on that channel. Mwaka Ministries Uganda. The name is on your screen right this minute. Go there, subscribe to that channel very important so these are the results we see when we and we hear when we prophesy there are two kinds of prophets we have the roha kind of prophet and we have the nabi kind of prophet the nabi kind of prophet these are prophets that which see the roha prophets they hear but the key verse has told us that uh, in Acts chapter 2 verse 17 that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see dreams. Today I want to teach you how to see dreams. How to, how, how, how to see visions rather. Not how to dream. Many people are dreaming. And the Bible says that our dreams mean nothing. Yea, there are some that mean something. I'll come to interpret that. I'll come to interpret that. Very important. Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe to this channel, Mwaka Ministries Uganda, and also on the channel, Prophet Mwaka Emmanuel. They are very important channels for you to be following. Then, 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 then the Holy Spirit will begin to show you the future and help you know the next vital step to take in your life. And this I was explaining. I was telling you, I was showing you. We speak not that which we know not of. We speak that which we have heard from the Holy Spirit. 
child of God. As you give yourself to the word of God, as you give yourself to the word of God, you study the word. As you pray, you fellowship with the Holy Spirit. And you you yielding yourself to the Holy Spirit, this is what I'm meaning, in prayer. He would show you things to come such that you don't walk in darkness. Jesus said it this way in the epistle of, of John, chapter 16 and verse 13. He said it this way, How be it when he, the Holy Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. He, will, he shall not speak of himself. Are you listening? But whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he shall show you things to come. Now those are visions. That's prophecy. That's prophecy. You don't have to be a prophet to prophesy. You don't have to be a prophet to see visions. Everybody can see visions. So child of God, being born again and filled with the Holy Spirit is also very important for you to see visions. You can know something of your future. You can know something of your future when you are born again and filled with the Holy Spirit. That number, that's number two. The first one we say that fellowshipping with the Holy Spirit and yielding yourself to the word and then praying all the time. Number two is being born again and being filled with the Holy Spirit. This helps you to, to know something which is to come ahead. My first prophecy, I gave it when I got born again at Miracle Center during the seven, seven days of glory. And the people around me, those who were around that knew me in that time, they saw it come to pass. That was during the, 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 the mass weddings. I, when, when, I, when I, I was born, I got born again, I was baptized in that time by immersion in water. Uh, then, I, I, in that very night, of, of the seven seven days of glory I was there with, with, with two ladies there including my mother I began to tell them that this is what is going to happen there's going to be a mass wedding and there are going to be one thousand a thousand of people in that one mass wedding and it was so so child of God you need to be born again filled with the Holy Spirit to see these things very important very important. So you should never find yourself in a situation where you don't know what to do next in your life. In the book of John, the epistle of St. John, chapter 8 and verse 12, the master Jesus said it this way, I am the light of the world. He that follows me, he that follows me shall not walk in darkness. So you need to follow the Lord. You need to follow Jesus. We were called Christians because we were followers of Jesus. Christ followers, Christians, and we were called by pagans, pagans, religious people. They are the ones that call us. They were, they were not even followers of Christ. They said, these ones, they are Christ. They are Christians, Christ followers. That's where the word Christians come from. It's not some kind of religion. No, followers of Christ. So knowing this, you don't have to worry about tomorrow. Knowing these steps, you don't have to worry about tomorrow. You have to take the light of Jesus with you and set it into your future. And your path will be illuminated to know and to walk in his perfect will for you. Glory, hallelujah. So friends all over the world, friends all over the world, it is very important for you to get born again. It is very important for you to do fellowship with the Holy Spirit if you want to hear and if you want to see visions. Very important. And I'm sharing more concerning this. Just keep tight. Tighten your seal belt. We are going somewhere. I encourage you to subscribe to our channel, the ministry channel, Mwaka Ministries Uganda. It's a new channel. It's going to be filled with teachings which are going to take you to greater levels. To greater levels in the prophetic. Greater levels in ministry. In the word, your healing is now in the name of Jesus Christ. I hear the Lord say it this way. that uh, There are going to be 20 people 
who are receiving jobs you're going to be called for a job interview and you're receiving jobs in jesus mighty name so viewers all over the world if you have been being blessed with this message i encourage you to to to, to give us a feedback give us the feedback on this very number on the screen right this minute give us a feedback and the lord bless you abundantly let me pray with you father in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ lord i pray bless every man and woman connected right this minute bless every man and woman watching and bless them king of glory father they that which have subscribed also father anoint them anoint every man and take them to levels father lord open their hearts to uh, towards the word let healing father come unto them i speak healing in the name of jesus christ whatsoever kind of sickness and disease in their bodies in their lives i speak healing in jesus mighty name in jesus mighty name they are healed right this minute and i command devils to be cast out fibroids out in jesus name i command deliverance to come unto your household in jesus mighty holy name so friends all over the world if you have been healed and you have to testify those who are being healed, you have to testify because I know a couple of you are being test are, are, are being healed right this minute. Go to your doctor, check yourself, and if you cannot go to your doctor, check yourself. Record yourself, record yourself, and send that video of your testimony on the number on your screen right this minute. And also, we want to share it with uh, others. Let others know what the Lord is doing in your life and i want to celebrate god with you the lord bless you and shalom and shalom we meet yet again yet again to another online fellowship of the holy spirit this is the fellowship of the holy spirit 